Well, welcome to ODI um, for, uh, I mean, although the report's been out a while, but I still think it counts as the London launch of Inclusion Matters. Um, this um, very comprehensive report from the World Bank um, and we'll be, I'll be introducing the panel in a moment. Um, I'm Andy Norton, I'm the head of research at ODI and a couple of quick ground clearing things before we start. Um, can you please turn your mobiles off if they're on ring and if a fire alarm goes off it's a real one. And um, Okay, let's, um, let's move forward now. Um, I'll introduce the panel first and then say a couple of words before we get on to the discussion. I'm delighted to have my ex-colleague from the Social Development Group of the World Bank when I was there, Maitri Das, um, presenting this, which is, has effectively been one of, I think, three flagship reports from the Social Development Group at the World Bank, the others focusing on governance and social fragility or societal dimensions of fragility. Um, and this one focuses on inclusion, and this has been, I think, the main part of your work for, for quite a while, taking it forward with close support from the, the former VP of Sustainable Development, Rachel Kite. We're delighted to have you here, Maitri. Um, and the panel, we're delighted to have Caroline Harper, who leads our social development group here at ODI, and um, also Ricardo Fuentes Nieva, the head of research at Oxfam, and a lot of you will have seen today um, a report taking a, a slightly different cut on some similar issues. Um, congratulations on the report, um, the Davos report, focusing Thanks particularly on elite dimensions of inequality, which has made a big splash and seems excellent from what I've seen so far. Um, okay, there's a lot on poverty, exclusion and inequality in the air at the moment. Um, one of the big themes, I guess, is social groups that face multiple disadvantages, that face power-based disadvantage, um, largely through discriminatory norms and attitudes. That's a strong theme in the high-level panel report leading up to the post-2015 um, goal debate. Um, we are working here at ODI on a piece on intersecting inequalities, which is Nyla Kabir's framework, and we're working with Nyla on that, which also is geared towards the post-2015 debate. Um, and this is a very strong statement looking at one of the other big, if you like, discourses or frameworks around this inclusion and exclusion, which has some significant differences to the straightforward takes on poverty and inequality, which are very clearly outlined within the report. So we're looking forward to discussing that, to seeing what it's likely to mean going forward in terms of programming within the World Bank, as this, um, this isn't a WDR, it stands within the World Bank's kind of policy frame, so I'm sure the audience will be interested to dig into that a bit. Um, and there are some really interesting themes emerging about power relations, um, discrimination, social norms, and many things which um, matter a lot to us in terms of the work we do here at ODI. So without any further ado, um, Maitri, would you like to just make the the overview presentation for the report. Sure. 